Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. My name is Martin Warwick. We're here at Mobile World Congress 2016 in Barcelona in Spain and I'm talking with Eddie Fox who is the VP of Network Services at Mettel and also with Sanjay Upal, CEO and founder of VeloCloud. Gentlemen, welcome. We're going to talk about Thank virtualization, you. cloudy things, that sort of thing. And I'm going to begin with you, Edward, if I might, because this is going out around the world. I know you're a New York-based company. Tell us what Mettel is and what it does. We're a communication service provider in the North American market. Uh, we sell voice over IP services, legacy voice services, mobility, as well as networking services. So tell us about virtualization. What are you doing there? So we have virtualized the core in our network and we put software in the core to be able to service our customers most efficiently. And your customers are whom? Our customers are medium-sized business to enterprise-sized business. Thank you. Now then, over to you. Um, Sanjay, tell us about VeloCloud, briefly if you would, and what you do and what you provide. So VeloCloud is changing the way that wide area networks are delivered to service providers as well as to enterprises. So typically, wide data network functions are delivered in hardware. What we're doing is taking those functions and delivering them as virtualized services. Hence, what we, what we build is called software-defined WAN, or in short, SD-WAN. That's what VeloCloud does. Thank you. Now, why and how are you two working together? What is the end product, as it were? And where does VMware fit into the whole jigsaw? We use VMware as an underlying cloud VNF platform to put software on, much like VeloCloud, to service our customers into the next generation. Okay, Sanjay. And what VeloCloud does is we deliver it as a virtualized network function, also known as a VNF. And so, Eddie is our customer, so he takes our VNF, deploys it on the VMware vCloud, and delivers it to his customers. Right. So that's how the two of us work together and then use VMware as the platform. We hear a lot in NFV, virtualization, the cloud, about ecosystem. I'm looking at one now, uh, remarkably. <laughs> so tell us about how you work, how things go. Does one, where do you get the impetus to begin the work from in the first place? So we are actually the microcosm of an ecosystem right here. Yeah. Because when the functions get virtualized, you need a platform for them to run on and you need this platform to be able to chain the functions together in a very efficient and agile function. And that's where really our SD-WAN comes in, but then all the hard lifting is done by Eddie because he's got to tie it all together, running on VMware to deliver it to his customers. So in fact, this is an ecosystem approach because prior to the VNF and the NFV architecture coming out, it all had to be done in a much more hard-defined fashion. And now with virtualization, it makes it all possible to make it really agile and flexible. What, it's beneficial to all parties, obviously, those within the ecosystem and the, and the customer, perhaps outside it or at the periphery of it, how does that work as well? How do you provide to ensure that the benefits go round in the way they should? With VeloCloud, we can provide more bandwidth, more trusted bandwidth, and give them a quality of experience um, that they can't get through legacy type networking services. Okay, that's quick and easy. Sanjay? Yeah, so, the, the main benefit that the enterprise is getting is that, as Eddie was saying, they can combine different transport mechanisms. So it doesn't have to be fixed to DSL or broadband or cable or MPLS. In fact, we are augmenting the transport links that Eddie is providing. So the end enterprise gets all the flexibility of choosing one or the other, of bonding them together, of having a hybrid solution, and that can be done pretty much on the fly. Okay, now, down there in your hand, you have a box. There it is. Now tell us what that is. So this is the VeloCloud Edge. We call it an Edge device because it sits on the customer's premise. And this is where the functions are delivered from the premise itself, and the other end of it sits in the cloud. And that cloud is really a part of Eddie's service. So this Edge device, in fact you won't believe it, but this small Edge device contains the power of all the stuff that used to be done in a rack of devices except that it squeezed those functions and moved them to the cloud, which Eddie's running as a service. So this is one of our lower end models, of course, there's bigger ones than that as well. But this is the shape of things to come. That what used to be done in big hardware is now done in software, and all that is left is this little device. Thank you. As virtualization gathers pace, and as the NFP technology is obviously proven, and we're now getting to this stage where we're going to see real commercial application of it around the network, 
What will your relationship and what will the ecosystem be like thereafter? Will you continue to collaborate and work together? Is this an open-ended relationship, I should say, perhaps? Or is it you do, do it for a finite period and then move on to something else? What we want to see as a carrier, we, we want to give our customers the control on their desktop to point and click for adding uh, virtual network functions that we can manage for them very easily and make it so they can point and click and choose their own services that they'd like and we can immediately provision them uh, and give them quality of experience both during the provisioning process and during the operational process. Sonia? I think the benefit of having the vCloud NFV is that you can take many functions and combine them together. So this is not an ecosystem that's going to end with just Eddie and, and myself working together. There's going to be other partners coming in as well. And in fact, one of those is AirWatch. So Eddie is already deploying that in his network. With AirWatch, we can extend the context out from one of these devices all the way out to the client, to the end user. And then you can see how that end user is interacting with the application all the way back into the data center. Tell us what AirWatch is. Sorry to interrupt, but what is it? So AirWatch is a MDM or mobile device management solution. Mm -hmm. And it allows an enterprise to look at what an individual user is doing down to the application running on their end device, whether it is a phone or whether it's a laptop or a tablet. And you can also have security plus access built in into AirWatch. And so using SD-WAN with AirWatch would be extremely powerful for customers of Eddie's. We even think that we can get to a point where we're using VMware's new Workspace ONE and deploying that whole uh, ecosystem to our customers. You led me very nicely into the last question, really, which is, I hate asking people to look forward into the future and prognosticate, but looking at the way things are going in terms of virtualization in networks, what do you think is going to happen over the next, next year or so? How much difference are we going to see for the end user, for your customers? How is it going to change? I think that we'll see more and more virtualization, more and more software-defined functionality. Um, as a carrier service provider, we will, we're moving aggressively away from being a typical legacy carrier and more towards a solution provider. Uh, and that's going to include a lot more software as we move forward. And we're going to need these VMware type of ecosystem to manage that for us and deploy applications such as VeloCloud. Sanjay? I think what's going to happen to the end user going through customers like Eddie is that from branch office users, SD-WAN is going to be deployed into mobile devices and then eventually into the Internet of Things. Because if you look at what's happening with mm. IoT, yeah. it really requires a wide area network that is software defined because of the billions of sensors that are going to be out there. So whether it's your refrigerator, or whether it's your car, or whether it's your branch office user, they all need a secure and highly performant SD-WAN, which folks like Eddie can provide using VMware vCloud running VeloCloud's SD-WAN. Well, we're certainly living in interesting times. Gentlemen, thank you both very much indeed. Martin Warwick. Telecom TV, Mobile World Congress 2016, Barcelona, Spain.